We have some breaking news this midday. Reports coming out of the state capital of a poss possible hostage situation there. Let's go to Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder, who is on the phone with us right now to explain what's going on. Uh, can you tell us what's going on, please? Well, I can tell you that about an hour ago I returned to my office on the second floor of the Capitol from a, a meeting elsewhere in, in downtown Jefferson City and saw police cars uh, massing at the corner or near the corner of Madison and Capitol Avenue in, uh, in downtown Jefferson City. This is across the street from the governor's mansion, and it is uh, uh, apparently an uh, a hostage situation has developed this morning on the fifth floor of the governor's office building. The governor's office building is not the location of, of the office of the governor of Missouri, but it is uh, the old governor hotel uh, on the corner across the street from the governor's mansion. And it houses a number of uh, offices, both I think a law firm is in there, as well as the Public Service Commission, the Missouri Development Finance Board, and another, a, a number of other state offices. And uh, we have SWAT teams on the scene. We have troopers armed with shotguns. We have a lot of police, at least one fire truck. We've had a chopper overhead this morning. And uh, the situation is developing. Uh, there are people in the neighborhood who who are reporting that they heard shots fired. That is unconfirmed. As far as I'm concerned, it's unconfirmed. But we're watching this out of uh, my second floor office uh, window about a block and a half away. Mr. Kinder, like how many people work in this building, and do you get an idea of how many people got out and how many are still in the building? None of those details are, are details that I can supply, I would guess, Many dozens work in, probably a hundred or more folks work in the building. I've spoken to one public service commission member who works there, my former chief of staff, Jeff Davis, and he reported that he was out of the building with his daughter, tending to some business with his daughter, and so was not in there when this unfortunate situation developed. I can say that our first responders and our police and SWAT team and the troopers have been magnificent, and I say God bless them, and, and let's pray for the hostage that we have a, a, a peaceful solution to this in the next few minutes with nobody hurt. What is the mood like there? Is, are people scurrying about? Is there a sense of urgency? Well, certainly there is, and uh, we're leaving it to the, to the public safety people, uh, police and troopers and, and uh, the Capitol Police, to uh, handle it and... and it looks um, you any any Missourian who would see what I'm seeing would have every confidence that it's being handled in the best that you know that a, a ghastly difficult situation is being held in the best po uh, handled in the best possible manner. To to your knowledge, is there just one gunman, or are there more, or have no such uh, confirmable information? I mean, we're we're talking about something that is still going on. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. But there, but there were shots fired, according to neighbors. They say they did hear shots fired. That is a third party, unconfirmed report at this time. Mm hmm. And, and, and to your knowledge, anyone injured? Don't have a, any information on that. And reporters are standing down near that intersection, getting as close as they can while this unfolds. The AP, uh, the Missouri Net, they're all sort of hustling in that direction. But you know. It, we're not going to be able to confirm much mm -hmm. uh, while this is developing. Mm -hmm. And you're being told to stay inside of your building, is that correct? I have not been told that. No. Okay. Hmm. All right, it, just to clarify here, it's called the Governor's Office Building, but the Governor is not inside that it's, building. It's called the Governor's Office Building because for 60 or 70 years before that, it was the old Governor Hotel, Okay. which closed in the 1980s and then was renovated uh, as the Governor Office Building. How long has this been going on? When did this start, to your knowledge? I, re I don't know when it started. It started sometime after 9.30 this morning, apparently. And uh, I became aware of it when I returned from a meeting at the Truman State Office Building, catty-cornered from the Capitol, to my Capitol office at about 10.15 or 10.20. Mm -hmm. And, and then I was the first to tweet it, uh, that we had sharpshooters on the roof and SWAT teams arriving. And 
Can, can you sort of describe maybe how many sharpshooters, how many SWAT team were tr sort of trying to get a, a mental no, picture can't. of what's there going on? What are you seeing outside your window? Public, there are dozens of public safety officers on the scene. Are you planning on uh, vent venturing out of your office anytime soon? Uh, yes, I will be. Okay. All right, uh, Lieutenant Governor Peter Kinder, thank you for that information. Once again, recapping here, we uh, understand the Governor Office Building, which is, uh, houses the Missouri Public Service Commission and a lot of other offices like that, hostage situation going on right now. But as you heard him say, no one knows if it's one person or others. It's just sort of hard to get any sort of confirmation at mm -hmm. this point. But on the fifth floor there is, is where this is all taking place. We're certainly gathering more information, so keep it tuned right here to Fox 2, and we will have an update as soon as possible. After the break, making the most of your minutes, a warning about prepaid phone cards from the Better Business Bureau. Also, fuzzy dice, air fresheners, graduation tassels, people hang all kinds of stuff from their rearview mirrors. Why it could now get you into trouble with police. And later in You Paid For It, the Webster Groves Library pays a half million dollars for a house next door it has never used.